Hey guys, I'm Andrew. Thanks for tuning in to episode 4 of Spearheads. Today we're going to be following a couple guys. We're going to be following around Captain AJ, Nolan, and Jeremy. They made a trip over to the Tortugas and ran into some pretty cool stuff. They shoot some nice kingfish, uh, mud and snappers, nice hogfish, and nice dog snapper in the, uh, in the show, in the video. Uh, before I get into that, I want to stress the importance of diving uh, with a proper buddy uh, that you can trust. Safety's huge out there, guys. Yeah, catching the biggest fish is always great. You can rub it in your buddy's face a little bit, but in the end, you got to come back home. You know, you got your family and loved ones waiting for you uh, back on shore. So uh, always dive with a buddy you can trust. Always have a contingency plan if things go haywire. And, uh, you know, can't stress that enough for uh, today's episode. Uh, so, yeah, enjoy the show. I think he did. Oh, you got one. Oh. 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 Stoned it. Oh, nice. Dude, dude. Nice. He's stoned. <laughs> so stiff. <laughs> got him from the from, from the, the dock. dock. Stoned him. Why was he at the floor of the bottom? I don't know. He died. Well, it didn't die. It died when you yeah. shot him. Yeah, like another one. Here you see a nice grouper we shot. And I say we because this was a team effort here. We were having really bad shark problems. The bull sharks were just relentless. We lost multiple fish to the bull sharks this day and we're in about 65 foot of water. As you see as I drop down, take a nice shot on a black grouper and he kind of gets wedged in a weird position and the shaft stuck. I personally didn't think I was going to land this fish. The bull sharks were just relentless. We couldn't get rid of them. And as I'm coming up, I see Jeremy come bombing past me, and then Nolan comes right past him, and they start helping me, you know, pulling on the line. And I personally thought this fish was gone. A 
I'm watching them, making sure they're all right. See AJ hit the surface and he's all right. So I descend down to the line and I just grab it, wrap up and just pull as hard as I can. I'm just swimming up and finally I feel it let go. Brandon's down there trying to fend off the sharks and I'm just pulling as fast as I can. We got the fish and once I hit the surface, I just screamed. I was like, this is teamwork. No, there's no way I would have got that if it wasn't for any of you guys. I, I ripped that thing out. I thought I was going to break myself. I thought for sure that thing was gone. But that goes to show you that I probably wouldn't have landed that fish without my dive buddies. Either way, we got the fish out. Good team effort there. Brought it to the boat, got my dad to take some pictures, and it was a beautiful fish on the boat. Homie Drew. Hey man, I just saw the clips of the Tortugas trip. Did you ever get an invite for that? No, you know, I think about it. I don't think I got an invite either. Drop down, you'll land right on the whole school. <laughs> about 65 feet of water at the beginning of the day and there really wasn't much around. We are anchored, we are chumming. I think we had a few muttons by that point and I was honestly headed towards the boat and looked down and it was crystal clear so I saw this grouper from at least 100 feet away and as I would get closer and closer he got bigger and bigger. Finally when I was right up next to him. He tried to go into a rock and got a shot into him. Started pulling him up towards me and I noticed he's fighting pretty good and usually red groupers really don't fight that well. And pulled him up, got him to the surface and didn't realize how big he was.
guys, thanks for watching episode 4 of Spearheads today. I hope you guys all really enjoyed it. Today's episode was brought to you by Spirit Apparel. Uh, they just got uh, some cool new stuff that came out. This is actually part of the signature series. This is the uh, Fold t-shirt. It's a pretty nice high performance t-shirt. Protects you from harmful UV rays. So if you ever got to hang out outside, go for a jog or whatnot, go to the gym, you can always wear this guy right here. Nice and comfortable uh, uh, t-shirt. We got another one, uh, part of the signature series. This one's actually the uh, Debasa t-shirt. Got a pretty cool image there of a bull shark cruising. Uh, got some nice colors on it. Same, uh, same high quality uh, uh, apparel as, uh, as you have all come to know and love from Spirit Apparel. Uh, this is a uh, new shirt that's also coming out. A little bit more plain Jane, but always, uh, always cool, always fun. People are going to know that you're a diver because it says it. So... Uh, Hope you guys uh, really like those t-shirts. Another cool uh, cool couple items coming out from the uh, Spirit Apparel crew are these uh, flex fit hats. So no more uh, buckling on the back. One size fits all. You can kind of mess, mess around with the bill instead of having that flat one. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know if you guys think so. And then um, we also got the, uh, the trucker cap, which uh, pretty sure you guys have already seen this one. And uh, you can also mess around with the bill for those of you who don't like to uh, you know, kick it 80 style. So anyway, thanks uh, thanks for watching today's episode. We'll catch you guys around on the next one. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, make sure you catch us at the uh, Blue Wild Expo uh, this uh, this weekend. If uh, you're watching this episode, you were probably there. And I'll uh, catch you guys on the next one. Some interstellar gator skin boots and a helter skelter and a little face.